Well, the University of Tennessee was desegregated in 1961. Theodis Robinson Jr., Charles Blair, and Willie Mae Gillespie were the first undergrads to attend classes at UT. The first African American to graduate was Brenda Peel. In 2020, former WBIR reporter Yvonne Thomas sat down with Peel about her college experience. You can tell by this collection, Brenda Peel is a Tennessee fan. I applied, was accepted, and they say the rest is history. History in the making. In 1961, Brenda was one of several black students to enroll as an undergrad after integration. That's the thing about UT, when they decided that they would admit uh, African American students, they did it without any fanfare without standing at the doors. They did it in a very civilized way. But Brenda's college experience was unlike most of her peers. She was one of the only black faces at a predominantly white school during the civil rights movement. I knew when I enrolled basically what to expect, but I knew what I was there for. My goal was to complete my education and get the degree. And she did it. Three years later, Brenda became the first black student to receive an undergraduate degree from UT. I don't know if they knew that they had an African American student who was graduated. There was nothing unusual attention on me. And that was fine with me. Mm -hmm. Just in line like everybody else. Her contributions in Knoxville have not gone unnoticed. Brenda was inducted into the UT African American Hall of Fame. In 2011, she was recognized during the university's 50th anniversary of African American achievement. But I always thought that there should be emphasis on the one who graduated, the one who went to the school and did what they were planned to do and finished the course. Brenda Peel paved the way for thousands to follow. Her perseverance shows what it means to be VFL. A vol for life. Brenda Peel passed away in 2022, but the legacy she leaves behind as UT's first black graduate will live on for generations to come. We'll be